vlog this is the all new tata harrier dark edition and it looks absolutely beastly in this color so you get the led drl right here which shows the impact 2.2 language of tata motors you got a projector head the headlamp setup is right here it's a projector setup and you got a fog lamp right here both are just under each other you get this really nice grill right here which is finished in piano black and the bold tata logo right here these wheels look absolutely massive and so beastly on this uh, dark finish color it says hashtag dark right there and finished in chrome it gives it a premium appeal the mirrors are also black and piano black and it's finished it gets a led indicator right here you get a request sensor on the door handle passenger door handle too this is a good touch on the red of course the harrier has been known for its really good looks and it complements with these led tail lamps right here and this bulb the indicator is a bulb even the reverse lamp yeah it gets four parking sensors at the rear which is a nice touch and you get a sort of skid plate treatment right here there are no fake exhausts but you get a spare tire right there the real exhaust is there this is harrier right there in black so this gets a rear wiper and a defogger it says vocal for local right there as of course tata is an indian company you get the rear wiper uh, water spray right there Let's go ahead and open the boot of the car. Oh, the car is locked. Oh no! Not able to open the boot as the battery has been disconnected in the showroom. But yeah, we can get inside the car, and it gets really nice treatment right here on the seats. And you get plenty of leg room on this car. You get an AC vent on both sides, which is like the XUV 5W. You get piano black finishes on the door handle, and the opening door handle is quite cool. And of course, what adds to the Magnificence, magnificence of the cabin is the ultimately big panoramic sunroof right here. The rear legroom is amazing. I'm five feet tall and I'm quite comfortable here. There's good under thigh support. You got a reading lamp right here, but yeah, the battery has been disconnected, so you can't turn it on. It gets adjustable headrests for both the rear and the front. You get a a, a cup. You get an armrest with a cup holder right here, but everything is in plastic cover, so we can't open it really. You get a storage space right here and two USB sockets down there. So let's go into the front. Let me go to the front. In the front of the Harrier, the everything is just so good. The touchscreen may seem a bit small, but it's really very convenient. Which with its 8.8 inch Harman unit shared with the Safari. You get the AC controls right here, and this is the automatic gearbox. So right here, you get this. You get uh, terrain response modes right here, and the traction control button along with the hill hold assist. You get a charging socket over here, which is a bit weirdly placed. The instrument cluster is semi-digital. You get the speedometer and uh, analog, but the rest are all digital. The steering is really nice to hold. Gets gets a leather wrapped steering, and lots of buttons, lots and lots of buttons on the steering. This car gets six airbags, and here, here you get the buttons to open the sunroof, which we unfortunately can't, as the battery is not there in the car. You get the lights right here, and yeah, I don't know what this is. You get a mirror right here, along with two lights. But yeah, as I told you, it won't switch on right now. So that's it about this car, I guess. Yeah, you get um, electronically retractable mirrors along with electronically adjustable ones. So that's a good touch. This car gets a six-speed JBL sound system, which provides impressive audio. The handbrake is aircraft style, which may seem cool, but is not very convenient to use. But yeah, it's a really nice touch. You get two cup holders right here. In fact, three cup holders if you can consider it. Again, armrest with and there's the storage space and two twelve twelve volt charging socket and uh, two USB sockets right here.